weather watch and a live look at Grant Park right now. The clouds are starting to compete with the sun. We don't like that, and we know we're going to have a bottom drop out on the temperatures. Yeah, too. Mary Kay is here with a look at our changing forecast, and we knew it was coming. It was nice to get those 80s while we could. Right, 85 for a high in October is pretty nice, and obviously we're on the warm side of this whole system at the moment, but we're transitioning tomorrow to the rain right over the area of low pressure, and then we'll spend the rest of the week on the cool side. So right now it's so warm. We're at 85 downtown, 86 degrees when we check in with Gary. Rain cooled air around Waukegan and McHenry with temperatures in the mid 70s, but look what's lurking north of the front 48 degrees right now in Minneapolis. It is 70 in Des Moines, 57 in Green Bay. A tornado watches up with multiple tornado warnings for parts of Iowa, even leading into Wisconsin. So the active weather really is just ahead of that front as the storms are lifting to the north. Well ahead of it, we just had those daytime heating type storms and they will be ending here as the sun goes down. But right now we have downpours from Waukegan and Zion to Crystal Lake. Little lightning showing up in Woodstock lifting north into McHenry. So right now our northern suburbs seeing that that dies down as the sun goes down. Tomorrow we ramp up the rain during the business hours really and temperatures will come down a good 10 degrees. So future cast tomorrow morning. Grab that umbrella even if you don't have rain for the morning rush. You'll need it at times during the day. Here's noon and then as we get into the afternoon still some gusty storms are possible and then all of that moving out as the cooler air starts to work in for Thursday and Friday. As far as rain amounts go some of the models are picking higher totals closer to the Wisconsin border. Right now it looks like everything might be close to an inch in Waukegan. I do want to take you to tropical or uh, to the tropics for Hurricane Michael churning in the Gulf of Mexico. Right now winds are at 120 miles per hour moving to the north at 12 focusing on the Florida Panhandle perhaps. National Hurricane Center brings it on shore very close to Panama City or Apalachicola Wednesday afternoon and then turning it more to the right near Valdosta, Georgia and then into Columbia, South Carolina. Carolina by Thursday afternoon. It is a well balanced storm. The clouds have filled in the eye just a bit, but it has upper level winds that are light, warm waters to move through, so it is favorable to see it strengthen. Our concern is that right front quadrant. Anytime we look at a hurricane, this right front quadrant is what's going to cause the problem. So the storm surge could be more than a foot, even to 15 feet here east of Panama City in Apalachicola. Even the Tampa Bay area could see a storm surge of one to three feet. So again, making landfall tomorrow afternoon into the evening. <clears throat> For us, here comes the cold front, 77. Rob and Erica, look at Friday. That's not a typo. We're going to have a high of about 49. And right now your weekend is half dry, half wet. Cold.